Hey YouTube, so here we are at uh, Willow Street for a bit of a change. I've been doing mostly Tanglewood just for the speed of it. So we're gonna try and get in and quickly identify a ghost again and see where it leads us. So right now we're just looking for the the bone and listening out for any peculiar noises. Mm. Mm. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Oh shit. I'm gonna go out of the house or something. Oh, and there's a bone there, I missed it. Ah! I got bamboozled! Oh, that's something. No! <laughs> I missed the ghost photo. <laughs> I realised just as the door wasn't closing, there was a. An event and not a hunt. Could have got a nice ghost photo there. Damn. Okay, so let's take some pills. Let's uh, take these. Set these up quick. Do we have orbs? Do you have orbs? Can't see any orbs. Not seeing orbs. Put the book down, put this down. Is that, is that freezing? That looked like freezing. So we've got freezing. So we've got freezing temps. What's our objectives in this? Photo. Ah, it was, a, it was an objective! Capture photo! No! Okay. Damn it. So I'll take the crucifix from the now. Hello? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Hello? Are you close? Where are you? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you French? How old are you? Where are you? How old are you? Fine, don't talk to me. Need you to touch a door or knock on a window or something. Can you knock on the window? Can you do something? I'm coming back with more stuff. Decent star we got in the living room, and it's not moved yet, which is quite nice. Hopefully, we can do this quick enough that it doesn't move. I mean, I don't normally like living room ghosts, but because obviously it's blocking your way out and things like this. But I'm going to put this on the table. Can you write in the book? Oh, I did. You're miles ahead of me, you've already written in the book. Nice. Thank you. So we've got a demon, revenant, and shade. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and do a demon test before we do a speed test. For this, I am definitely bringing a smudge stick though, because if I make a mistake and get locked in the house of it and it's a revenant, uh, not fun times. Not fun times. Jesus. Okay, that's us full now. I didn't realise we were that low. Well, actually, yeah, because we asked the board, didn't we? So, what we're going to do is to do a demon test, what we're going to do is we're going to ask the board where it is, 
and then we're going to ask what's my sanity the reason that we're going to ask those two questions is the board will drain 40% default for asking a location question but a demon will drain 32% that's 20% less and the sanity question will drain 5% for a demon that's 4% but if we ask those questions it will put us above the threshold of everything else and when we ask if it's a, if it's a revenant or a shade then it would say my sanity is average because that's 40 to 60 percent but if it's a demon then the 32 percent and four percent doesn't put us below the um it doesn't put us below the um threshold for good so it would say good as a demon where are you where are you What's my sanity? So it's average. So that means it's not a demon, which means that this could just be a revenant and we're gonna have to speed test it now. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Where are you? Hello? It's not fast. Um, okay, so it's not fast. It's not fast, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna call it that quickly. Usually I'd put like the crucifixes in and try and take a picture. Um, it's just I'm limited to 10 minutes per video um, and I don't know when it's gonna go over. I can't check the time run it as such, so we're gonna put it in as a shade. So the reason for that is it wasn't a demon because the board confirmed it wasn't a demon by saying average and not good after those two questions, providing it didn't fail a question. And it also didn't immediately murder us, so it's not a revenant, so it's a shade. There we go. So if you like my videos, press like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you.